Quite a historic day for the Armenian American community. Araxia has more now on a museum that has been, oftentimes this is the case, years in the making. It takes a while to get the funding. It takes oh, yeah. a while to get the support. Yes. Here we yes, go. Yes, yes. It is the first of its kind in L.A. County. This, by the way, I want to make it clear, it is for everyone in the community, an inclusive space for all to enjoy. You know, this museum, which has been also years in the making, is a testament to that perseverance and the determination of a community that's worked so hard. The Armenian American Museum and Cultural Center of California broke ground yesterday in Glendale. The museum will feature a permanent exhibition on Armenian heritage, culture, and history, as well as temporary exhibitions on diverse cultures and subject matters. There will also be a learning center with classes and courses available to the public, an auditorium with diverse programming for the entire community, and a demonstration kitchen. Popular feature uh, when we share our programming, uh, the idea is that to teach culture through food. And so both for uh, visitors to be able to learn about Armenian food and cooking traditions, but also for us to have opportunities for creating fusion dishes, you know, for building those cross-cultural connections. Having something like this happen that's built, you know, in the honor, the history, the culture of our people uh, truly does mean a lot. Um, and it's really great to see the community here come together with people who are in Armenian and are Armenian. So discussions to build the museum and the cultural center began years ago, back in 2014. The community at the time came together for the Armenian Centennial in 2015, and there was this historic march, I'm sure you remember, on the streets of L.A. I remember it very well. So many people came out yeah. to honor the 1.5 million who perished in the genocide. Well, the museum is a landmark project looking to the next 100 years to build the next generation. So construction is finally set to begin this month, and the target date for opening is in the summer of 2024. Which, so by the way, tuned. is just around the corner. I know it doesn't feel like it, but it is just around the corner. I love this idea of cross-cultural connection. Mm -hmm. We, I really fully believe that we, in order to understand each other, we have to get to know one another, right? Learn our history, share Absolutely. our stories. Absolutely. Because at the end of the day, and we say this, but it is so true, we are so much more alike than different. Yeah. When you really just break it all down, does we that mean that so you're going to prepare like. Armenian food for me? I mean, um, maybe, maybe. Could you do that? You know what would be cool? Would when be it cool? opens, yes. for us to like go to that kitchen I would love and that. do a whole Araxia, thing. I would actually really love okay, that. And I, so, I genuinely mean that. All right, I mean it. Yeah, okay. that is something we should do for okay. sure. Book it. Make it happen. I <laughs> add it to the list, Michaela. Yeah, add it to the list. Maria. Okay, wait. You do the weather. I'm going to add it to the list. Okay. Cook in the uh, Armenian Cultural Center. Kitchen. Yes. Done. 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 <laughs> uh, I'm excited about that, Aroxia. I, I would love to go as soon as it opens up. And I actually did get an Armenian cookbook recently. Uh, so, yeah, someone gave it to me. My friend John. You know? Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you should be on his podcast. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, learning so much. Uh, we just go to Aroxia's family's market. That's what we do to get some, some food Still as well for now. But yes, that's <laughs> right. Can't wait to go to the museum and do that. And this is just such a wonderful thing for the Armenian community, also for Southern California and the world, for, quite frankly. Um, and, and you've been involved in this since, since the inception. Right, right. I, I was the master of ceremonies for the first gala, and that was in 2018. So much has happened since then, but, um, you know, this project has come a long way, and so, you know, there's still a lot of work to be done. Well, you know, but the, the interesting thing about these kinds of cultural museums and the wonderful thing about them is that they can teach so many people about things like Armenian contributions to this country that a lot of people probably don't even know anything about. Right, so many Armenians migrated here after the genocide and they have become part of this community. Um, so, yes, it'll be something definitely uh, useful for the, for the community and all the schools. Think of all the schools that we'll visit. It'll be a wonderful thing. And, and for happens. the two people out there that don't know this, uh, Southern California has the largest Armenian community outside of Armenia. Yes, yes. Uh, sometimes they say Russia, perhaps Russia, then Southern California, but it, it's a close second. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs>